Day three of the Weymouth and Portland National Sailing Academy Typhoon sponsored 29 Nationals. That was a mouthful. To my right, I have a father and son team. So you've got the microphone, Louis. Can you introduce yourself and tell us what it's like to get your old man around the race course? Uh, hello. <laughs> I'm Louis. You're um, Louis Hiscox. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm Louis Hiscox. Um, this is my father, Simon. Hi, Simon. I'm Simon. Hello. Um, this is my son. <laughs> no way. I, I'm glad there's some conclusive evidence there. You're both both giving us the same he's story. Nor, he's normally really annoying, but today we've been sailing together at the, uh, at the Nationals. Yeah. And we're a bit annoyed, aren't we? A little bit annoyed. Because uh, I, I can guess some, what that could some be. Some dodgy decisions on one side. Yeah, that's my decision making, but also it meant that your sister is beating us. No it? way. So, so is this is this um, a really key point for the Hiscox family? That's really depressing. It's, it is a little bit, isn't it? I think we're going to have to banter. put a hole in the boat. <laughs> well, she'd asked for some advice earlier. It might be fixing our boats. We, don't, we could say no. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. I think there yeah. might be one or two rules, instance. I've been here on shore, and I think Simon, who's uh, not only a legendary sailor, 49er class, but legendary boat builder, you may have some work in the boat shop tonight. Oh. <laughs> I was hoping to have a rest. <laughs> I've, been, I've, been, I've been told to pull ropes left, right and centre, do this, do that. I've been bossed around all day. I need a rest. Did you enjoy that, Louis? The bossing around or the... Uh... Yeah, I mean, he just couldn't quite get across the boat. You know? <laughs> well, I would imagine, not that I know much about 29 yeah. Simon, it's probably slightly larger than the, than the average crew size. I mean, he just kept on complaining about his knees. <laughs> oh, that's, my knees. That's old age. I, I don't think I can hoist, <laughs> Louis. <laughs> I can relate to oh. that. But what's Weymouth Bay like in a North Eastly? It's never normally like this in July, is it? Uh, uh, it's, yeah, maybe it's a little bit late, late autumn, isn't it? nor'easter in the out in the bay yeah, man. reminiscent of national rankers i'd say or maybe some sail for golds pre-london but that's that's like october time isn't we, it the, we, uh... we were quite happy weren't we on one start lining up with lily yeah. and uh thinking she knows her way around this uh this yeah. part of the bay <laughs> i well, could see a very cold oh, chinese girl in the background <laughs> yeah yeah. Uh, it's good fun actually. North Eastly out in the bay there is probably one of the most fun. And it's a it's a leveller. Part from it's a shifts. leveller, there's, there's, it's it's tricky, it's unstable, there's a little bit of movement in the sea and that and it's I mean, it makes it for a quite interesting racing. And you you've got another four race day, I mean that's that's fantastic. Oh, have we got any more of those? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, four races. <laughs> well I think can we do less of them. Can I think tomorrow <laughs> you might have a small uh small AP maybe, but tomorrow looks good. Okay. But uh the problem is, if you have more discards, they have to give more discards to everyone else. So I don't, I don't think we can, uh, about we can do that. Sensation. Yeah, we, we have the youngest and the oldest. <laughs> I know, I was wondering about that. I saw you entered as, as youth. And, and surprisingly, <laughs> a British youth sailing sticker on our sail. Well, they are difficult to, to come off. What and are you, diamond. What, and and diamond. A diamond. <laughs> diamond is very key. And what, what are you most enjoying, though? You've got halfway um, through there. De definitely the starts. They're very, they're I very think, good. I think I may have got this wrong. This is obviously recorded live straight off the water. I think you may have picked up some letters. Yeah, we did get at least yeah. one set of letters. I'm going to call that dodgy transits. Dodgy transits. Was that current or was that just a, a little bit too to keen to put yeah. there? heavily port bias line. It is. Uh, we, we totally didn't hit the pin on one of the starts. Okay. We were halfway good. across the line. Yeah, no, we didn't. Um, we were halfway across the line and just... So uh, we, we couldn't point high enough. A very interesting thing. I should just double check this with the rules, but the rules, please don't walk in front of the camera. The well, you can walk back now. <laughs> it undoes it. <laughs> the rules uh, have actually changed. So it's whether your boat is over the line or not, not your crew, which can make quite a big difference with a heavily port bias line, but not yeah. everybody knows that. Maybe the ice officer doesn't know that. Should we ask him? Ask, yeah. for the, ask for a video replay, Louis. Hopefully, hopefully I do want a video replay. Because I'm pretty sure we weren't over at Go. I think well, if we were over, it might have been at 59 seconds or something. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that also counts. But I was, Four boat legs across the line at one minute. That's fine. I think you've probably identified the problem. <laughs> <laughs> but it's lovely talking to you. I'm, I was very glad to grab you, particularly Simon, before Rachel grabs you and drags you to a, to a workshop. A boat with a hole in it. And... Yeah, wishing you guys lots of luck, and I'm not going to comment on the uh, the inter Hiscox battle well, that's we're <laughs> for family so honours. We we're not actually in a competition. <laughs> okay, we just wish her all the best. <laughs> Good. Don't yeah. We we'll go get the rules. We we'll go get don't, the rule book we. out. <laughs> Come on. Thank you very right. much. Thank you very much. Thanks, Have a good day.